started uh, seven years ago, just over seven years ago. Um, the first meeting was at my house. I invited six of my baking friends and they came together with their five non-baking friends. So there's 11 of us all together. Very simple, very basic newsletter, a very basic cake quiz, and they just brought cakes and uh, photocopied the recipe so I could swap. And it sort of took off from there, really. We have at the most 35 people at a meeting, depending on time of year and that sort of thing. So we've had some Bake Off contestants come and have a chat about their experience in the Bake Off tent. And any new bakers, they can always bring a non-baking friend with them, but if they, the buy themselves, you always make sure they sat with somebody who's been a member for quite a while and we get chatting about, we've all got this love of cake in common. So, um, you know, nobody's ever left by themselves and there's been some great friendships made over the years. Uh, we have lots of social events, uh, we do some charity events as well. So we make a good team. There's about 13 of us. We bake every week for the soup kitchen in Southport Town Centre, um, which is brilliant. We've been doing that about three or four years now. And I finished work um, and took on a different role. Um, I then had these friends that were looking to do something in the evening and in the daytime as well. So um, we joined together in the daytime, make the cakes, and then we come here in the evening. Certainly the people that come to Fancy a Nibble are all friendly and all wanting to talk and chat together. However, outside of Fancy a Nibble, Pam does organise some meals out um, and different, different things really. And so we also get together and are able to talk a little bit more. You don't have to be a baker. You can be a baker's friend. So that means you don't have to bake, you can come along with a friend. Yeah, so I think this group is a really good group for that. And you do get lots of people who come in for the first time and everybody makes them welcome.